Okay, guys, I am filming today, Relax and Paint, and I'm excited to do another project on black um, art paper, it's a multimedia paper, and um, I think you'll find pads of it at your craft stores, and it works really well. We also sell one of these pads like this in our, our website onestroke.com and um, it's got 40 sheets in there and these come out and put back in if you want to into the pad so that's kind of nice so i am excited about sharing with you some just three colors and what fun it can turn into i'm using yellows and greens and white with some floating medium and so i'm going to use my one stroke flat brushes mostly and a script liner i think i've got a little script liner here and um, you can create some amazing, simple techniques. So watch to the end because you'll be excited with what you see that you finish, okay? And share with me what you'd like to see next. Please come join my One Stroke Advantage. There's a lot of advantages to joining. So if you go check it out, just hit join and you can see what it offers. All right, so thank you so much for being on again this morning. And don't forget Friday's most watched shows which are the practice strokes. So I give you homework to work on during the week. So let's get started and let me see some of your talents, okay? So I'm gonna turn this over. Now I've got, like I said, I have some, a couple of lighter, which is daffodil yellow and moon yellow, classic green and some citrus green. And we're looking at, multi-surface paints and there's some new bottles that are out now um, that aren't not messy like that one but um, multi-surface paint oh, oh here's a new bottle and they look like this all right we sell them or and they have this right here we sell them or you can find them in um, your local craft sh uh, shops usually all right and i love it because it has a sealer in it but i can paint from paper to outdoor products on it, okay? So I think you're gonna really like that. So what I'm gonna start with first is I'm just gonna take an eight flat and a 16. Now the first thing with the 16 I'm gonna do is I'm going to pull out some citrus and classic green and double load this on a foam plate, see this? Or you can use the double loader. And I show you all about those double loaders on Fridays. Okay, so now one thing I'm gonna go up the whole piece. So look, if I have if I have a flower here and a flower there and one across there, then that's where the heads of the flowers are gonna be. So when I'm doing that, I do come up from the top and go down because I'm just saying placement where I want it to be. All right, but then. I want some really thin, um, I don't get any more fully mini, but some real thin uh, stems coming up for some of the little small flowers and, and, and stems that I'm gonna have for some leaves and flowers. Now, this is what I did. I just dipped a little bit of white and worked this in. My only three medium at the, at the beginning, remember? So here is the stems that you want to see. I'm going to come on here again because it kind of disappeared. It was so black saturated that it went away. All right. So these are all the little stems that you want to see. I do have some coming up higher. And because of that white, it made it so you can really see it now. Now, I'm going to just put some, you can put some more as you paint your flowers because it just might fade away again. And, or you might have some that are higher than what we did here. All right. So let's start with our first main flower. If I put the big main flower, then I can put my other designs around it. 
So I'm going to use a 12. Is this one right here? Well, I want a little bit bigger than the six and the eight, I think. Let's, let's try this. We're going to use a 12 for right now. All right. So I'm going to get the light in. So this is daffodil and moon. I'm going to grab a little bit of medium just to get it in the brush for the first time. All right. So what I'm going to do is this is the base of the flower. So I'm going to stand up. Let me pull it up a little bit so you see better. There you go. I'm going to stand up and have some that high. I'm going to curve it, curve it, curve it. And then I'm going to curve some on this side. So that's the size I want. So that's going to help me see my size. All right. So I'm just getting placement right now. Then I have one over here that kind of came from right here. All right, so this is also going to be all in here. All right, so that's going to be one, two, and then I'm going to have this one kind of leaning to the side. So let's do it right here. All right. So I like doing some of these really loose, kind of fun sprigs of flowers and see how you can learn from how we lay these out. All right, so I just laid it out. Now I can start adding to this to give it more, all right? So I'm gonna come right in here. And I'm gonna lead with the moon yellow because it's a little bit darker. And I'm going to come up here. I'm going to keep getting paint. And if you're if you're just right, you can come in here and do a second layer where you're going to be able to see in that second layer. See, there's the layers that are in front. And that happens and looks really good because it's black. Let's come up here. Let's put a second layer right there. See how good that looks? There we go. All right, so then these are going to slide up into the center. Now, look how the ones in the back kind of fade. So it just gives you a fun look. And you can see it was it didn't take a lot of skill. So we're on the chisel. So I push, lift, push, lift, push down, and lift as I'm pulling it down to where the stem would hold your flower. So push, lift. Okay, so now I can come in here and do a couple extra layers. Well, that's wet, it splits it. What's wet? Right there. I can come in here. Can you see what happens there? Push, left, left, left. So see, I like it. We see the layers. Okay, so the third one, just like we've been doing. So we put, if you look at this, you're putting all the taller, slender guys in here first. All right, now I'm going to come in between each one of those and I'm going to pull some of these petals overlapping 
And there's ridges on it. I like ridges because it gives these petals extra texture. All right. And so we're going to come right in here and here. Isn't that kind of fun? All right. Now, what happens from here? I'm going to add some little teeny green leaves, okay? Sorry. I'm going to come in with these softer greens. So I have soft green and classic green. All right, so I'll bring in some either white or you can bring in some uh, yellows. All right, so I'm going to pull in, uh, I think it needs some yellow. It's got some yellow in here. All right, so I'm picking up yellow and classic. And we're just going to come all along in here and get some little small yellow and classic. So we're going to come right in here. All right, so I'm gonna come right in here. Right in here. A little bit down in here. So this is with an eight. We're picking up, you can use an eight or a 10. We're picking up um, classic green. And daffodil yellow. Okay. Now I can also come in here at this point and bring the green stem from the center right there. This one's going to go on top. There we go. Now I'm going to take my two skirt planer. And I'm going to come right here with some white. And get a really light. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this in here. See all these little teeny little guys. We're gonna come in here. So I'm rolling my brush in here and I'm pulling all these little guys. All right, so we're gonna have a little teeny bit. Little eerie pieces. All right, so we're going to come in here. Oops. I lay my finger in the yellow, so I'm just going to bring some little guys out there. All right.
and see those little teeny details. All right, so a little last little bit here. At any time you can quit because you can make the center of the flower. But isn't that kind of fun? So far, we've just used um, a couple of little brushes. And then to make this really look nice, I think it needs one more color. So there's all kinds of things you can do, but I've decided that I'm going to bring this down just a little bit more. And I'm going to work with a white. So let's go this way. A little bit of white. So it's already coming down onto the citrus. So I'm going to pick up white. And we're just going to come right in there and just tap like clusters. And I keep going into white. And I'm just going to come along here. Yeah. All right, little bits of white. All right, just little dots. All right, this is the one script liner in my dark green handle set. The one script liner. All right. All right, so we're just gonna keep, see how that made that pop? I think it's really fun to see just little touches that can make something change the whole look. So thick paint, when you're coming up here, it's got to be thick. You don't want really thin, watered down paint. Okay, I love this, just with that little bit of bright white. There we go. And I hope that was worth your time. I have a fun, fun time creating something that I think you guys will want to paint. And this is a fun project to just create. All right, see you next time. Share, share, share on folk art. I mean, on, excuse me, on Facebook under the Donna Dewberry's official, because lots of people do Donna Dewberry sites, Donna Dewberry official one stroke group. We're a group. So come join us. Okay, see you next time. Mm -hmm.